Exotics Experts, Sexpert, Sunny Megatron here with part three of your BDSM 101 complete primer. So in part two, we talked about safe words and consent. And consent really is a cornerstone of BDSM. From the outside, a lot of the scenes we do might look kind of... Ooh, like abusive and serious and but really what people don't realize is they've been talked about beforehand with each partner and what's going on is respectful it's what each party wants each party's talked about it's safe and it's a very controlled thing even though it might not look like that on the outside so wait a minute Giving constant feedback and gaining consent, that's an essential component of BDSM. What does that look like when we compare it to our average sex scene? Oftentimes when we have sex with somebody, we don't give the constant feedback. We might feel that, oh, you know, we don't want to be critical of our lover. Or maybe we don't want to ruin the mood or whatever the reason is. We don't always say what we want but now we're doing something where that's a part of the game saying i want this i want that and tailoring the scene specifically for you so really that lays the framework for exploring our fantasies with our partners which again that's a thing that's some hard for us for some of us to do some of us we shout from the rooftop oh my fantasy's always been this or that and some of us well, a little more shy or maybe our fantasy we feel like it's a little out there and it's hard to share or maybe we haven't sat down and really thought about like hmm what is my fantasy I'm, I'm always the one fulfilling the other person's fantasies so what is your fantasy some of us might have really specific fantasies. I want my lover to wear red and to be eating an orange and to rub my feet or whatever it is. And some of us have more generalities, maybe the mood of what we want. I want to feel like I'm in control and I'm calling the shots or I want to feel like I'm small and being protected and I'm, I'm being made safe by somebody. So the first thing I want you to do is sit back and think about what some of your fantasies are. If you're having a hard time getting started, well, first of all, think about what turns you on. You know, I like to feel. I like to feel in control or I like to feel like the submissive one. I like to feel like the treasured pet. I like to feel like I'm someone conducting experiments and trying different things. Um, whatever it is, figure out what you like to feel and then start to construct your scene from there. A lot of what I've been talking about puts you in one or two categories, right? Either a dominant person or a submissive person. But what if you're going, I don't know what I I don't know if I'm dominant. I don't know if I'm submissive. Well, if you're really not sure, start playing around with your partner. Nobody says you have to say, I pick submissive and that's what I am all the time. You can change things up. You can sometimes play the role of a dominant, sometimes play the role of a submissive. You can switch things up between different sex or BDSM sessions. You can even switch them around within the same session. There are no rules when it comes to that. You're doing what feels good to you and your partner. In my next video, I'm going to give you some specific scenarios and specific things you can do to start introducing those elements of BDSM into your sex play. Until next time, I'm California Exotic Novelties, expert sexpert, Sunny Megatron.